ABC, always be charging. There we go. Hey! Made a red when my battery dropped to 7%. <laughs> Hope that's sign of good luck. Yeah. If yeah. I can get and my just sh in time. Oh wait. Does this door open? Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Alright, I forgot about that. Stupid me. <laughs> yeah, it's also, and you also got to close it first, and then you can close it. Hey, this this album, 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 this album is one hell of a birthday present for Jimmy Johnson's drinking age birthday, '86. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tim, you was almost six months old. Still in diapers. Classic. Funny enough, when I was playing rock band four, playing a lot of songs, I played their cover of Ring of Fire. Yeah, rock band two is the only thing that I ever have any fondness of. Tween years, because that's when that game was I was the most active on. And I'm doing that again with rock band four since new DLC still in 2023 still comes out every every Thursday. Doubt they're ever gonna slow down with that. Just watch them stop with DLC and then come out with Rock Band 5 like they did with Rock Band 3 on DLC and then release Rock Band 4. Well, Rock, well, DLC did come back sometime in 2013. Like, oh, I yeah. remember Shepherd of Fire came out on DLC. Bye bye, Mr. Merrick, everybody. Yeah. Whatever the lyrics were again. Yeah, well, very good pie and funny enough, weird album. Yankovic made a parody of that song. Look how he's done. Jedi. Love Star Wars. Huh. I gotta listen to that sometimes. Oh, oh yeah. Speak, since I said tween years, uh, that was also when I started COD. Well, it was a definite classic. Oh, yeah, another album that came out too. Uh, Disturbs Belief from 2002. Oh, yeah! During his rookie season. Yeah, it's a radio tower. Better look at it. Not like making one of the best rookie seasons for Jimmy Johnson. And it still perplexes me how he wasn't able to catch Brian Newman for rookie of the year. That's it. It still perplexes me. How he was he wasn't able to catch Ryan Newman at the end of the Rookie of the Year award, despite having the better overall statistics. Just like with Carl Edwards from 05. Well, he's he was a little bit different. Well, with the, you, you, that was back when they had a really weird uh, criteria for rookies. Yeah, like Levi said in his Carl Edwards career overwhelm video. Retrospective video, he said it was a bit harsh back then. It said if you made more than 10 stars, you would be 
us why that's a rookie. Because I believe I said if you look back on it, from it, if Carl Edwards would have been a rookie in 2005, no question he would have been rookie of the year in 2005. I think he started as soon as either Watkins Glen or Michigan. No, it was Michigan. Yeah, Michigan with said, the Green Lantern scheme. Yeah, after Jeff Bird called retirement in the 99 for Roush and Way Racing. Couldn't find a sponsor for him. And, and what do you know? As you I said, he got a 10th place, 10th place finish in uh, his debut start at Michigan. That's oh, very yeah. impressive for your debut start at a track like Michigan, where it's all about high speed. I think he had the same finish at uh, Auto Club. Let me, I remember vividly that he was fresh to the sport. He had him winning the truck race at Daytona in said year. Yeah, that was one of the only um, super speedway wins he ever got, which was pretty sad for the most part. That, Even though he arguably, he could make the argument, he could have won in 2011 if not for Trevor Bain, but I was still happy for Bain. Let me, well, let me look real quick. Oh yeah, he made 13 starts in 2004. He couldn't make it back to his uh, car in a timely manner at Charlotte, so it was Dave Blaney getting the credit at Charlotte for Speedway. I have Blaine Riley's uh, father. Yeah. that Elliot Sadler won, and he finished sixth at Richmond. The second to last race, Jeremy Mayfield ever won. You know, that Richmond race where Jimmy Johnson expressed his displeasure. Oh yeah, the one where he was like, I just, one thing I don't like about the points system, you got a bunch of idiots like this. <laughs> Jimmy Spencer dumping Casey Beers. That, I remember that pissed me off. Because Jimmy Johnson was having a goddamn good run. Yeah. But at least he got back on the track, which was what made me excited that he didn't get a DNF. And if, and if it was with F1 points, he would have been champion that year. If he didn't have so many mishaps, he actually even would be... Uh, sorry champion on real points that he was a, an entire crash at uh, Kansas from winning that championship both in playoffs and on real points if you think about it so two occasions he was fucked out of a championship both on both accounts Society Day in a nutshell and NASCAR in a nutshell today. Pretty much. Bob Incredible, in my opinion, is like the Tony Stewart of Disney. It's, it's psychotic. They create new ways to celebrate mediocrity, but if someone's genuinely exceptional, want to do something for Dash? Let him go out for some points. Okay. Now I need to settle in. I feel so off-putting. All right. All right, what's the plan? It's a nice little miniaturized museum you got going on there. Gusta. This might be the latest one. My recent one I have. Ah. Oh. Bowman. Look, look at that shit. Oh, you, oh, you got the uh, passing torch. And this is... Yeah, this, look at that bitch. All covered in confetti. 
I recently got that one. 64. Hey. Yeah, I think I remember you. Look at that shit. Awesome sauce. Yep. That was the Queen Amidala box I got at a thrift store. And it's Ray. Jar Jar Binks. Got that Luke. just because I felt sorry for the actor. He didn't deserve any of that. No way. I was doing something nice for the dude. Uh, where's the uh, championship car? The championship car? Right here. This little Good shit. This is more of them. That's a big museum got going on there. And, uh, William Byron first win. I didn't get to go and see that one, sadly. But I would have liked to see it, but at the same time, it would have been a heartbreaker seeing it. Yeah. And Jimmy Johnson never gave up. There's the Coca-Cola. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry about my bed. How unsteady is this bed? Uh, it does that. Right, sorry about that. Anyways, this is the Coke 600 win, the Petty Enterprise surpassing milestone. That's a very holy grail, grail victory. Yeah, it may have been boring as fuck, but... Hey, you got all the... You got a full house for Alex Bowman. Yeah. Well, for 2021, I, anyway. Yeah, and I have the 2022 Vegas win since he didn't have any more wins sadly in 2022 but I just hope he'll finally have more wins and consistency since with the help and power of Blake Harris here it is the, the Dover win see I wish I could manage the money for the 2021 victories I saw in person but man 2021 is such a oh, gig down there is the two other ones the Road gigantic and Coda year. Down there's the other ones, Coda Dakota and Road America. The Road America. Best memories ever. Oh. Chandler, we saw that one. Yep. Oh, that yeah. was and the best 4th of July I ever had, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I even I watched it, but yeah, I agree. The two victories from 2021. Back. But that gives me an idea. If Bo <laughs> if Bowman by some miracle ever wins a championship, maybe that'll teach a. Maybe you can use the like how you did for Kyle Bush. I, I got more class than that. He'll and Hamlin. He's just a hack. Bowman's victories. He's just a hack. Hack. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, you still yeah, got your grunk. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is the... I think this is the rich man. The, the, Where's the Pocono one? Yeah. This is Dover. I think this is Dover. Yeah, the one, two, three, four finish. And, yeah, this is a... Pocono, the bittersweet victory. The soul for a soul moment. And then... No, wait, this is Richmond. No, this is the Richmond one. Ah, one, okay, I say, do like, oh yeah, Richmond, Dover, Pocono, okay. Yeah. And then Martinsville. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can tell this one's the Martinsville one because of the like, yellow confetti. Yeah. Like how, I'm liking how the cars are now getting confetti on them again. Because sadly, 2020 and 2021 were the years of the mountain confetti ones, except for this one. Oh yeah, now I remember why. Yeah, because of the god, because of the stupid ass pandemic. <laughs> Fucking virus ruined a lot of shit. Yep. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> yep, this is the Vic, the Larson victory one. I was very happy to get the Bristol, Bristol. one. The Br the Bristol night race aside from the feud. It's me from Nashville. <laughs> I get to get that one, and I, I'm very happy to get the Homestead one someday. The Homestead All good stuff. And the Auto Club. It's one huge library you old, got there. And good old Hydra. Good old Hydra even saw that Larson winning at Auto Club almost a year ago now, even though he had to witness the rivalry between the two, our two favorites. You got some nice posters. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the wins. 
Indeed, and a couple. Let's just see if the Hendrick victories we will possibly witness this year will have simmered out uh, rivalries, because we don't want victories ruined by drama. Yeah. We don't need another Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson rivalry. I don't want to see that. I hated that so much in 2010. The rivalry between our two ultimate favorites. Basically a civil conflict. All right, now I need to know. I need to know where to charge my shit. Ooh. Well, the plug is back there. All right, sounds good. What were you gonna say? Oh. And you want to something else? When you saw the Hendrick one two three four finish, we almost had a Junior Motorsports one two three three four finish with uh, Josh Mayer finishing, winning the race. The other ones um, getting a top five, like Sam Air fifth, and Ty Gibbs ruining it with getting third. Um, and Conrad and I were like, oh, wow, it's the 2021 Coca-Cola 600 all over again. Thorn in my sock moment. They, wow, we almost had it. We could have had a Junior Motorsports 1, 2, 3, 4 finish if not for Jesus fuck boy. Yeah, it's safe to say Ty Gibbs is easily Kyle Busch 2.0. In many cases, worse. Because at least he doesn't sip on the evangelical Kool-Aid. Oh, hell no. As much as we may not like him that much. As much as we can't stand him, at least he ain't a Bible thumper. But I don't know if we're going to care about his political bullshit. But he's the one enforcing that bullshit on other people. Yeah. Even though Conrad, <laughs> when I rewatch this Glenn video, I'm like, listen, hi. I get your religious, but people are going to believe in God. They're going to do it on their own free will. Even though Kai has said he's only been at church once, and that was it. He hasn't gone ever since. Strange how I went a little more than he did, but that was only when I was, like, in elementary school. I really didn't give a fuck. thought it was boring. I should still think it's boring now. Even though, when you mention that... And that wasn't even under my parents' accord. It was because of my aunt. Oof. Would she, like, um, like, quiz you on what you learned when you get back? Because the Shelton dude, um, said that was why he doesn't like the go-to-church video. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't blame him as much as I'm not a fan of him. Church is boring. And stupid. Good afternoon, Florida. These streets look clean to my surprise. Hey, this is it. Atlantis, where I went to in fifth and sixth grade. I middle school. This is uh, Atlantis. Over there is where I had Miss Petty for, uh, for sixth grade. What about seventh and eighth grade? That was Space Ghost, dude. Oh. And, then, and over there is where I had Gandhi when I had ah. her years ago. <laughs> Your best teacher. Yeah, from fifth grade. Basically, my uh, Miss or Lucci, or how do you say her name? Picholi. Picholi. Because I first thought it was Pelucci. <laughs> Picholi. It, it, yeah, it, it does seem uh, strange, uh, but uh, two C's is generally the ch sound for last names. Yeah, because. Because if it really was Pellucci, it would have been funny. It would have been so insane having a, a, a well, a quote-unquote friend's uh, uh, mother as a teacher. I don't think I've been to the theater in Florida before. Uh, I have been to theaters out of New England before, but not Florida. We're out of New England? California, I believe. Uh, or New York, I'm not sure. Me, at least. Okay, 
So are you guys wondering what we're gonna see? We are gonna see Ant Man. Let's just see how the fuck it goes. We're gonna enter the movie with an open mind and keep things leveled. Keep our expectations uh, nominal. Epic theaters. Quantum mania. Alright. That was a fun watch. Yeah, it really was. I would have to say this is one of the better uh, Phase 5 movies. It does not surpass No Way Home. No, no, you No close. way in fuck any movie is gonna pass No Way Home, honestly. Oh, hey, a penny. Oh. Always gotta pick those up for good luck. Yep. The middle part kind of felt like a major drag, but it wasn't anything major. Well, so far for phase one, I'm not there's other ones. Hmm. One. What would you th say is behind No Way Home? Oh, I. Very tough call for me too. <laughs> so far, this I actually enjoyed this one better than Black Widow and uh, Love and Thunder. Yeah. But those two movies I mentioned are not that bad either. They were a fun watch. So is this one. I gotta catch up on some of the other ones, though. I heard Doctor Strange was kind of weak. Yeah. The latest one. Yeah, it was okay. Not Wait, you saw it? I've seen that one. Hmm. Well, uh, oh, almost a year ago now. I'm gonna watch some of the rest of Phase 5 with an open mind. See what I may have missed in context.